Guys, this video is going to show you how to jailbreak 4.0. So you're going to need two things for this video. You're going to need Red Snow. Uh, the version you need is 0.9.5 B5-1. I will put the link to get this in the description, as well as what you need is the firmware for your iPhone or iPod Touch. I will also put that down there. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is open up Red Snow. Then once you get to this page, you're going to have to find the IPSW for your firmware that you downloaded. So you're going to have to browse for that. Mine's on the desktop. And then you click open. So it's going to process the firmware. You just got to give it a minute. Okay, so once it's identified, you click next. It will uh, set up the jailbreak stuff. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is if you're on a, I'm doing this on a 3G, um, you can do custom boot logos if you want, I'm not going to, but um, you just need to install Cydia, and for those who want multitasking in the background wallpaper on the 3G or the iPod Touch 2G, then you're going to have to click this right here. So then once you choose what you want, you got to click next, and then uh, for this step, you got to make sure your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch is off, so I'm going to shut mine off right now. Okay, so once it's off and plugged in, you're going to have to click next. So follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, so once this is done, if you do it correctly, it should automatically move to the next screen. And your phone should be in DFU mode, and it will start to do the process. So all you have to do is wait for your phone now, because this is done on the computer, so I'm going to just wait. So on your phone you should be seeing the picture of the hard drive and it should say downloading jailbreak data. Okay, so once that's finished you will basically be done uh, with the part that's done in your computer. Um, you will have to click finish and that's it. and. Um, You'll be waiting for your phone. Right now, mine's uh, still downloading the jailbreak data, but once that's finished, your phone should restart, and you should have Cydia there and everything. So um, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, you can just leave a comment below. I'll see you guys next time.